Yeah. Oh, also, uh, something I wanted to talk about was uh, the Kenobi trailer. That just released today uh, as of the time of recording. Uh, that was pretty neat. I'm not happy with the casting choices. I think the voice actors... Uh, I'm specifically not happy with Rupert Friend as uh, the Grand Inquisitor. I think Jason Isaacs would have done fine. He's not that old. The vo- he was the original voice actor, and he's done live-action stuff before. He would have been fine. Uh, for Fifth Brother, I don't really care, to be perfectly honest. Like, Sung Kang, I'm sure he'll do a good job. He does a good job in Fast and Furious movies. He's fine. But I- I'm just mostly upset about Rupert Friend uh, taking over for Jason Isaacs. Because Jason Isaacs, you know, he's, he's a m- really, really talented actor. He's... He's been in so many things. Uh, the, he's a great villain in the Harry Potter series. He's a great villain in The Patriot, which is like the only good Roland Emmerich movie. So I don't know why they would get rid of Jason Isaacs. Um, I'm not a big fan of the idea of Vader and Obi-Wan fighting again. I don't, I don't like it. Because if Vader knows that Obi-Wan did survive, you know, like, like has gotten away. I feel like he would think to check back on Tatooine. I I think he would. And so if the Inquisitors know about it, I think they would go and hunt him down, especially because the Grand Inquisitor and the Fifth Brother don't die until much later than when this series is coming out. So I don't really... Like, I don't understand the whole point of this, this whole thing. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't get it. I really don't. I think it would have been fine if it was just a character study. I would have watched it if there was no action at all. Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi is a really good performance. And I wouldn't mind just seeing more of that and seeing him like kind of grow and change and develop as the, uh, as the series goes on and go from revenge of the Sith Kenobi to a new hope Kenobi and just kind of do that. I would have been fine with that because he doesn't want to do action. You know, he's, he's hiding out from the empire from a giant galactic, force like a a galactic wide military that's trying to hunt him down and murder him so that they can find luke skywalker well they're not looking for luke skywalker specifically they don't know he exists but they are looking for obi-wan because obi-wan is fucking awesome he's one of the greatest jedi in the world i don't think if they knew he would survive he would be enemy he he would be public enemy number one so i don't think this series is going to work just in terms of that. But I can look past it if everyone else gives a decent enough performance, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm apprehensive. I'm just apprehensive. That's it. Uh, Also, thank you to Mewtwo for following. Uh, Very appreciated. Awesome to see you. Uh, Yeah, thank you very much. Um, But yeah, that's kind of my, my general thoughts on the, Kenobi trailer. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. So uh, let me know in the comments.